Hey guys, um, this is my uh, 25 week, I guess, 25 week update. Alex, don't, don't start. You can wait a second until I'm done, okay? Um, she's been bugging me all day. Yeah. Um, this video is a little bit late. I had an appointment today, so I decided I would just kind of throw this video in before next week. Um, before, next, before week 26 started. So this is week 25, technically. I'm 25 weeks and five days, I think, today. Yeah, I think something like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, so there's been, uh, there's been actually quite a few things going on that aren't very good. Um, we found out my husband is going away <sighs> for three months. Um, he leaves right after our vacation next month. Uh, he's going to miss the birth of Madison. He's probably, he won't be back probably until she's like a month old. So that's kind of some big news that got sprung on us. Um, Luckily, my mother-in-law, she's going to, um, she's going to come down here and help me out and come to the hospital with me when I go into labor, so I have some support, um, and she'll probably, she'll probably, um, stay with me for, um, a little while until, I don't know if she'll stay the whole time until Rob comes back. Alex, be sure to those plates, please. Or if she'll just stay with me for you know, a couple weeks after Madison's born, I don't know. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Say yay! Yay! Can you say go? Go! Go! Go. Good boy. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> um, also, last week I did my, um, excuse me, the gestational diabetes test. Um, and I found out today when I went for my appointment that I did pass that. So that's good. That's good news. Um, what else has been going on? Alex, stop. Alex, I said stop. Then you can wait until I'm done. I said that already once. If you ask me again, I won't get you anything. Um. Cup. Cup. Apparently I just chose the wrong time to do this video. Cup. <laughs> Silly boy. Jackson had his first birthday. I can't remember if it was last week or what. I don't know. Whatever. 30th of June was his first birthday. Um, and he's, I can't believe how big he's getting. It's insane that just a year ago he was a little tiny six pound baby. Um, hey buddy. Um, what else? Okay, some symptoms. Uh, I've been breaking out a lot. As you can see. Um, breaking out all over my chin lately the past couple weeks. Um, her kicks are getting stronger. I can feel her kicking my ribs a lot lately. Um, she's definitely head down. I don't know if I mentioned that in my last video, but I usually check my cervix um, whenever I take a bath at night. And I can feel it. She's head down. I can feel her head there. Um, so that's good that she's flipped. I probably did mention it in my last video, actually, now that I think about it. Um, what else? Symptoms. Um, nipple tenderness has come back. They're really sore again. Heartburn, obviously. Still an issue. Haven't had acid reflux yet. Cross my fingers because I know it's going to start soon. At least that's my, my history. My pregnancies, anyways. Um... That's all I can think of really for symptoms. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll tell, I guess I'll tell you about my doctor's appointment. So I went today, we just got back um, right before lunch. 
for my doctor's appointment, and um, everything was good. I like I said, I passed the the diabetes test, and um, I've put on about two pounds since my last appointment a month ago. So that's good. That's a good amount. Um, I only have one more appointment next month, and then I have appointments every two weeks. So it's really crazy to think that I'm already at that point where I'm having two-week appointments. I mean, you know, like, once that starts, that you're really close to the end. And it's just crazy to think that I'm that close already. Like, it's gone by so fast. Sorry, Jackson's getting into something. Jackson, give that to Mommy. Come here. Give me that. Thank you. Good boy. Our remote doesn't have a back, and he likes to pull the batteries out and chew on them. Uh-oh, go get it. Go get it. Um, yeah, so, uh, the like I said, I passed the, uh, the diabetes test, put on two pounds since my last appointment. Uh, one more monthly appointment, and then appointments every two weeks after that. Um, we do our vacation coming up. In a couple weeks, we leave on the 17th of August. Yeah, we leave on the 17th of August, and we're gone for three weeks back to Ontario. And then hubby leaves, which sucks. Um, basically, that's all that really happened at my appointment. That she's measuring good. Heartbeat sounded good. Um, he says everything looks fine. Everything looks perfect. I'm a little bit concerned. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Because for my last three appointments, he keeps bringing up C-sections, and I don't know why he keeps bringing it up. I have I've never had a C-section before. Um, she's not breech anymore, so I don't know why he keeps bringing up C-sections. But this time it was in regards to um, if I would get my tubes tied if I ended up needing a C-section, which is the plan. I mean. Obviously, I prefer for my husband to go in for the surgery. It's a lot less invasive and um, easier. So, as of right now, the plan is for my husband to go in for surgery. Um, uh, probably a, a year, maybe six months or so after Madison is born. Um, but the plan is, you know, if worst case scenario, I do end up needing a C-section, that I will just tell them, you know, just tie my tubes because you're already in there. It's an extra, what, two minutes or something, he said. But it does concern me that for my last three appointments, he's bringing up C-sections. Um, I don't really know why he's doing that. And obviously, I'm going to avoid a C-section at all costs. I mean, obviously, if there's something wrong with the baby and there's something wrong with me, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to take his advice and, and deal with a C-section. But I will try whatever I can to avoid that, obviously. So that concerns me a little bit, but um, other than that, the appointment was fine. Um, yeah, that's basically all that's been going on the past couple weeks. Um, excuse me. I guess I'll do a belly shot, and then um, you can keep an eye out for my next video. Here's the belly. 25 weeks and 5 days. Almost 26 weeks. I think at this point, my belly's going to start getting a lot bigger. Because I think, like, I can feel her kicks way up here now. So I think she's as high as she can get, and now my belly's just going to start going out. Okay. So that's the I belly. I don't have any new stretch marks yet, but we will see. These are all old ones. So, yep, here we go. She's getting big. Alright, so, 
Take care, everybody. Keep an eye out for my next video. I'll try to do it at some point. Um, probably midweek next week. Um,